Hey guys, John Judd here. Just a quick tip about dealing with superior drummer and 12 8 time signatures inside of FL Studio. So my apologies, we have some leaf blowing activity outdoors, which could make this recording pretty terrible, but, but we're gonna try it anyway. So this is a specific response to Christian, Christian with a K, who's having a little trouble with Superior Drummer 3, FL Studio, and 12 8 time signatures. I don't have Superior Drummer 3, I have Superior Drummer 2. Let's imagine that we pulled up this blues MIDI pack from Superior Drummer. We have a song that we're trying to drag the MIDI in, and it says 12-8. It says 12-8 right here. The tempo for the song in Superior Drummer is 118. I've set FL Studio to 118. So I've set my project to 12-8, as it should be. Here's Superior Drummer, the beat. Here's what we have in the FL Studio playlist. Yeah, that's about two times too slow. What you need to do before you drag that MIDI in, you need to go down into Superior Drummer. I'm hoping this option is available in Superior Drummer 3. Go right here, half X, one X, two X. In Superior Drummer, you need to click two X. I know this is nonsensical. Superior Drummer will now sound incorrect. Yeah, you could chug away on some metal with that. The MIDI will actually change according to what you have. I've gone and dragged the 2X version over here into the playlist, into its own pattern, and here's what that sounds like. Okay, so the original 1X version in Superior Drummer. The 2X version dragged into the playlist. I do believe we have a match. Sounds good to me. I have to trim the end of that MIDI pattern. I put six bars plus a little sum. That'll tidy it up a little bit. So you might be dealing with a little bit of that, whereas the, the 1X version filled up 12 bars and it looked pretty. You could use that. You could just double the tempo and that would work. Or we could deal with this and trim the edges, which could be a pain. I guess this is just how the MIDI lands, so we have to deal with it. Let's see how the metronome lines up with the 2X version of what we have in the playlist. Get rid of this. It's clicking out every single beat, which it should be. That's what the metronome is for. But anybody who plays in 12-8 knows that that's just not how we feel it. We usually feel this in 4, but with a triplet feel over it. So what I've done, I recorded the metronome, I recorded the main accented click, and then the other lesser clicks. And this is what we ended up with. So now that sounds correct. Now, if you did this with the times two version of the superior drummer, you have to make one full measure of this and then you can just copy it. You're going to have to put the click on every fourth half of a beat. You could do the same with the tempo doubled in FL Studio and the 1X version that was up here. But I think this solution worked. Hopefully I've explained myself well enough. Anybody with any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you soon.